YouTube, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Last couple videos, I've been showing what I've been doing on my coin total, and I know that we're coming to a point that's pretty unrealistic for some of you guys with icon trading and having millions of coins and investing them. It's not really relevant to a lot of people, and some people are just going to be picking up the game. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a step here, and I wanted to reset and show you guys one of my favorite lower budget methods and kind of explain it in depth for you. If this video helps you out and gives you some ideas for trading, drop the like button and subscribe if you're new here. I have to be liked. Before we get into the trading, I have to get, I have to show you guys this hideous monster on my screen, aka Lionel Messi and Pez. And I just wanted to re remind you guys that I think FIFA is a long ways away from competition, and I don't think there's a football game right now that can compete with them. Unfortunately for us, I know that sometimes we wish they had a bigger rival so that they can kind of turn up the intensity, give us the best game possible, but right now they're far and away ahead. But look at that Messi. How bad is that? That's an actual in-game image. I had to show you guys that because I was actually laughing out loud when I saw it. It looks like some kind of like Halloween-ish monster. I am hideous? You are horrifying to look at, yes. All right, now let's jump right into the trading method today, which is gonna be position change trading. This method is reliant on people under listing cards by not knowing that the position change holds value. I have an example on my screen here who is Nelson Semedo. He's really popular. He got a little bit of a downgrade this year, so a little less popular than years past, but he's still used a lot in FIFA, right? He's still, he's still a good player. And his base position is actually a right wing back. And right now, that card on the market, I think is pretty much like this card. He's like 750, 800 coins we need to always know the baseline price because it's going to help us figure out the next step maybe he's a little bit higher maybe he's like 850 yeah so he's 850 but if he's in a more standard right back position which is going to be really really common on a card like this i'm guessing he's above 1500 coins he's even a little higher than i expected he's at 1800 coins okay so we can use that price difference to trade so you happen to have a few different options here. You can snipe him and you can try to get a snipe at the card listed, right? So you could try to get a snipe where he's listed at like 800 to 1,000 and you'll make 800 coins on the card, give or take. Those come up fairly frequently, but you're probably gonna have more success doing it during prime hours. I'm a little bit late right now based on my time. Well, there you go. There's a perfect example. I missed that snipe. I'm not super quick with my hands. That was pretty much double profit. So if you spent 900, you're coming out with 1,800. He didn't have any special chemistry style attached to him, but that was a perfect example at that 900 because someone just listed him on the market at a kind of his going price and they didn't realize that the change added that value and that's kind of what we're going off of here so we can also do this by open bidding right and you can add a bunch of them to your transfer target you could bid up to like 1200 coins for some quick profit you just would have to make sure you're searching in that right back criteria so you could even back out sometimes the search filter is kind of glitchy so i just searched by all and then you start scrolling through and you're looking for like 800 to 1,000 coins here. It looks like someone's listing all of these at once, which doesn't seem very smart to me. Um, but here's one for 950. We can toss a bid on it and hope to win that under 1,200 coins. And that would be like 600 coins profit. You also have the ability to take this a little bit further now. And this is honestly comes down to how many cards you want to memorize and how many prices you want to memorize. But what you can do is you can actually check what Tomato goes for as a right back with the change and with the shadow. Let me show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna put on a shadow here, and I'm gonna search as lowest by now, and it looks like it's about 4K, so that's a good example. <laughs> it looks like it's about 4K, and we just picked this one up for 3,300 here. We'll sell at 3,900. It's gonna be around 500 coins profit right off the bat right there, and again, people don't know that with that these combinations, they sell for different prices. What you need to do is you need to know that. You could snipe him, you could look to bid on him at like 3,300 or under, and you're making 500 to a K per card. I'll list him up, we'll see if we can get the sale here in this video, and I'm gonna list him right up for 3,900, but again, a fairly popular card. There's gonna be a lot of starter teams this week. That was a perfect example right on video for you, and people just don't know exactly what they're listing for. So you could, of course, snipe that specifically. You could bid. Yeah, and it looks like mine will sell at 3,900 pretty much for sure. Just gonna give you guys one more example here in a second, but let's see if we can get another snipe on video. I'm going to pause right here. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is that a really quick way to snipe these is actually just doing a back in and back out method. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare price and just back right out of it. And if you see a card lower up here, it's going to come right to the right of the tomato. And that's a really, really efficient way to snipe on console. If you're on like a PS5 or the new Xbox, whatever it's called, you can oftentimes beat web app users. So this is a great way to do it. You're just backing in and backing out. That's what she said. <laughs> And you have to, again, know what you're looking for. So for in this example, I'm looking for like pretty much someone listing them at his normal price. So I would say under 1200 would be great for me. And just backing in, backing out by comparing price will be the fastest way for you to snipe these cards. 
And that was a perfect example. I missed it again. I'm not the fastest sniper, but again, you're looking at, because this one had an anchor, you're looking at a K profit on a 1K card. If you're on a 10K budget and need to make an extra 10 to 20K in that first hour you have it, this is a great approach to do that. And I like to do this with Nelson Semedo. Um, Marusic is another good example, and he's in Syria. He's a good example where this works for same position because he actually starts as a wing back too. He's got the similar changes with him as well. Let's check his. And his lowest by now with a right back variant is 2200 okay so again what you can do is you can go to 2200 and just compare price back in back out that's what she said and look to snipe it and there we go guys we finally got our example that was perfect so that's going to be a k profit again if you're on a 5k budget and you need to double that in an hour that's no problem. I'm going to list that up for 2200. I'm really positive as well. Also, he also has a chemistry style on him. And sniping on console is like an Olympic competition. So it's going to be a little bit easier if you're on web app in my opinion too. But that was a perfect example. He's changed. You just need to know their values. You can also bid on them. You can start to memorize them. What they also sell with the anchor or with the shadow. And it's going to get you really far. And this is one of my favorite under 100k budget methods to pretty much double your coins in the first few hours doing it. Here's a little picture of a tomato I won on bid for 1300 as a right back. I'm going to list them up for 1700 or 1800 This one is a smaller profit, but I just want to show you guys that all these different approaches do in fact work. It's a little bit of a grind, sure, but all low budget methods are a grind, and you need to be aware of that. And as your coin total grows and gets a little bit bigger, making coins also becomes faster. That's the good news. I did just want to end off this video showing you that we sold a shadow tomato for like 1k profit then we showed them when we bid on for a 400 coin profit give or take the marusage is still up but I got to get this video sent out to get it edited and I'm sure he'll sell it anyways. You can do this with a ton of different players and as you see on my transfer list we did some bits there and if you find your own list you're going to have a lot of success. Look for them that hold a big difference in value with that change so marusage, tomato, Sabitzer, those are all great examples and if you like the video today and want more of this low budget stuff, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Peace.